Oh, hello. You may remember a little while back I did a rant about a Beach Boys song called Help Me Rhonda and how there's a good and an evil version of it. Well, here we go again. There's another evil version out there of a Beach Boys song and this time it's Be True to Your School. And this one's even worse. If you thought the evil version of Help Me Rhonda was bad, oh, wait till you hear this. This one's got cheerleaders and weird things going on in it. I really don't understand what the heck was going on here, but get a load of this. Cheerleaders. Hey, hey, take it away. Get so that boy that's awful. That's, ugh. And what's this noise going on in the background? It sounds like a theremin. You don't know what a theremin is? It's that instrument that they use in science fiction movies to go, ooh, ooh, ooh. and that sounds like one of those in the background of this. Listen. <laughs> I don't think they even have the vocals worked out yet because there's a lot more rah-rahs from the boys in this. Oh, those cheerleader vocals are awful. But you know, those cheerleader vocals were provided by a girl group from Los Angeles called The Honeys. And Brian Wilson even wrote songs and produced them too. So they had... Songs like Shoot the Curl and Pray for Surf, but they didn't do all that well on the hit parade. And the Honeys even sang back up on Jan and Dean songs like Dead Man's Curve and Little Old Lady from Pasadena. They were a lot less annoying on those songs than they are on Be True to Your School. Brian Wilson even married one of the Honeys, and their two children became Wilson Phillips. Whoa! But... That's another story. Push it back, push it back, back. But that being said, the good version is on the album, and the evil version was released as the single. So if you want the good version, you have to buy the album. The good version of Be True to Your School appears on the Beach Boys album Little Deuce Coop. So if that's the one you want, that's the one you should be picking up. And it's really confusing because if the single version was the hit, that's going to be on all, all the Greatest Hits albums, I presume. So, like, you better be careful what you buy because you may end up with the evil version on your Greatest Hits albums. So, be careful, be careful. If you can, listen to it before you even buy it because when you get home, you may be awfully disappointed, okay? Okay, that's enough for now. Bye-bye now.